Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I've said this on several occasions. You know, when sometimes us in the black community, we want some of the people that represent us to do a little bit more for the community. And we, we want them to move fast and, and, and quickly or expeditiously as uh, <laughs> T.I. would say, expeditiously. But um, I just want to say thank you to Stephen Curry. I appreciate Stephen Curry because Stephen Curry is doing something that's just a wonderful thing. But at the same time, I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of Stephen Curry doing the, you know what I'm saying, great deed that he's going to do. In case you guys don't know, Stephen Curry is going to, you know, help, you know, black people that go to, you know, historically black colleges, from my knowledge, basically train and learn how to play the game of golf. You know, even due to the success of Tiger Woods, you know, a dude that refuses to acknowledge himself as being, quote unquote, one of us. And that's why I really don't support Tiger Woods. I've never been a fan of Tiger Woods. I don't I don't mess with Tiger Woods, period. OK, at all. Because he's went out of his way to deny being part, you know, you know, being part of the club. He don't want to be down with us. So. I say whatever, but nevertheless, golf still ain't where it needs to be. It's still a good old boy type of sport. You know, if you look at the golf clubs and stuff, they still have an issue with letting some of us join. And Stephen Curry wants to get more of us involved in playing the game of golf. He likes playing golf. I know, you, you know, the thing is, um, if you do the history of golf, We've been involved in golf for forever. You know, we just wasn't allowed to participate in the tournaments and all that type of stuff. But it really didn't start with Tiger Woods. If you look at the history, you know, some of these golfers that happen to be Caucasian were taught and trained by black golfers that just wasn't allowed to participate in the tournaments. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of people have this stigma that if you play golf, you some kind of sellout or, you know, shit like that because that's been the image that's been presented based off the fact how golf has went out of its way to present itself as basically a upper class, you know, white sport. So that's why black people have this thought process. Hey, if you play golf, then you kind of a, you know, you a sellout. And that's not the case. But I kind of understand why black people have felt that way about it. But nevertheless, um, you know, I think that's great that Stephen Curry is doing something like that. You know, I, I think he feels like, and like I told you, it's levels to this stuff. And I think Stephen Curry feel like, hey, I'm at, you know, I'm at a level where I can do stuff like this now. But at the end of the day, he gonna be on notice. It's gonna be some people that's gonna look at this, hmm, uh-oh. He might be one. So now you may see the criticism of Stephen Curry rise. Keep in mind, people have a problem when they see blacks trying to help other blacks. You know what I'm saying? Because we are considered to be community property to everybody. We supposed to help everybody, not each other. And so you got to understand that thought process. So... I'm very happy and pleased at what Stephen Curry is doing, but at the same time, he got to be careful because now he going to be unnoticed. They going to start paying attention to him. You know, the people in the media. So, shout out to Stephen Curry, man. That's a great thing what you did, man. You know, shout out to you, man. You know, and I'm going to talk about Stephen Curry and... The Marcellus, uh, uh, Marcellus Wiley video, because I got to bring up what he said because I feel like it's very important that I talk about that. But anyway, man, shout out to Steph Curry, man. I'm out.